My research was around coming to America at the time. I mean, if you look at the sentence of coming to America, Eddie Murphy set out from a place to another destination. Yeah. And that movement became interesting for people to see how Africans will fare in a different, different place. place. What's up, my people? Welcome, 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 welcome again. It's Heroes Diary HD, the show that celebrates black success. Essentially telling our own stories, you know, all of us who've worked really hard will become something. Most of us start from nothing to become something. Why don't we celebrate ourselves? Why don't we make people know what we've been up to just so that we can breed more success within ourselves? So as always, thank you very much for joining us week after week after week. You keep us going. You keep us getting this thing done. We're so grateful. Thank you for always liking, commenting, subscribing, following us on this journey, supporting us to tell the black story. We don't always have to wait for Hollywood or everybody else to come and tell our stories. We celebrate ourselves, celebrate the superstars between uh, within us, and then make the world know what we're up to. My name is Kenny Ogunlola. Kenny Lola, as you always know, thank you for joining once again. And talking about celebrating our superstars, today I've got none other. We've gone all the way to Nigeria, all the way inside Africa, the biggest. It's fair for me to say that because this is somebody that I respect so much on a personal level. Got a bit of a personal relationship with him and I'm so glad. So today's gonna be a little one-on-one -on -one because I really wanna drill into who this enigma is. I'm not gonna waste any time. Is the most followed comedian in Africa, the biggest comedian, fair to say, out of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, AY Comedian. What's up, AY Makun? <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. My you know, boss. You know, there's some kind of introduction that just put the other man in trouble. Hey, yeah. I don't want to get into any form of trouble. How? Yeah, I'm, I'm just in the comedy business. I, I don't want to hold claim to being the biggest, uh, but you're the one saying it. So, yeah. so I don't the, talk the question enough. mark is on you right now. Bro, let them come, <laughs> at, let them come and attack me. You know, as they always like to attack you online. I don't talk and be that. Ewa is the biggest uh, comedian out of Africa. Oh, well. So feel free, don't attack Ewa, attack me. Now, Mr. Cam, you know how it is. What's happening, boss? How are you? I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, good to have you, man. How has been in London, baby? So you just do like this. Now, the cold, have you now? Uh, well, 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 right now, I think when I came in, it was like minus one. I think it's, it's a lot better now, so... Well, when you came into the UK? Yes. Not inside our studio. <laughs> <laughs> Not minus one inside our studio, just to it's be clear. It's minus one, so, but it's, it's a lot better now. And yeah. uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been wonderful for me uh, because I, this, I didn't see this year's uh, tour happening in the first place. Right. Because uh, I, I was going through a lot. I had a lot to take care of as well. Mm. And but someone just advised, no, you can't you can't put a break. Mm. Go ahead and do what you do know how to do best. So yeah. uh, with very short notice we decided to come do the AY Live Legendary Tour. And lo and behold, it was mind blowing. Even with the short notice and you were at one or two of the shows. I did, yeah. I did, yeah. And I mean it was my we were able to to, to stir up the audience, everybody uh, had a wonderful time uh, from Peterborough to uh, Minter Killings to Manchester, um, Newcastle, Newcastle, and London. London oh. was was more like <laughs> it was fire. It was fire. I was there. I was there. London was, I was crazy. There. I was there. I and was the there. turnout, the turnout was was mad. Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you said you said um, you well, you were not going to do it, and then you decided to do it. So the fact that you've gone in and actually done stuff now, um, what does that say to you in terms of actually taking action towards your dreams rather than letting the circumstances or whatever things are happening hold you down? Well, I I. Um, very much propelled by actions. Mm. I mean, everything that has defined the AY brand is as, is, has always been intentional. You know, saying that I was a little bit distracted or taking a break yeah. was because I needed, you know, you know, there are times you go through some 
some things you yeah. begin to wonder maybe you need to take a break and sort those things out okay maybe you heard about the fire at boss my house yeah you know got burnt and all the different negative media that started coming you know to my direction at the point in time even anything podcast i'll be like okay that's when they're going to grab something he's going to say something again and so this is me just trying to run away because one people started uh, seeing comedy in a different light back home mm. uh, like i said in uh, one or two of the interviews uh, they are beginning to now take uh, the comedians you know more seriously why did I take the politicians as jokers? Ah, all right, that's a yeah, good one. And it's supposed, to be, <laughs> that's and it's supposed one. to be the other, the other way, way around. around yeah. And then, yeah. because we as comedians, we are like social commentators. Mm. So what we do, we relate with activities, things that are happening and all that. But back home, a lot of people, because of the situation back home, a lot of people are just looking for where to just, vent. you know, vent. And or to find as victims. Victim, yeah. And then, for me as a stand-up comedian, what am I going to be saying when I come mm. to London? Mm. I can't talk about the presidency, I can't talk about uh, individuals, I can't talk about situations, I can't talk about police. And then when you, begin, when you begin to have all of that running in your head, it's going to look like, okay, so why do I have to do this business? Maybe we need to take a break and re-strategize. But then... As a theater artist that I am, yeah. we, uh, there's a slogan mm. where if you're a theater artist, you say, no matter what, the show must go on. Mm. So we came, we saw the UK, and of course, I'm happy to say that we conquered. Oh boy. So how much are you taking home to Nigeria now? In well, pounds, in pounds, not well, Naira, in well, pounds. Well, in pounds and in passing, <laughs> I'll let you to let that question pass. <laughs> Right, you're not carrying our pounds going to Nigeria <laughs> now. Is that not what we got to build need? another house now. Is, is that not what we need? Yeah. Because no. back home, there's, there's practically nothing. nothing. It's like you're just walking and walking yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you're not. And but when, we, when we travel and we come here, yeah. we have a reason to, to go back to home. To go with back home with something, and, that's and, good. And take care of but you're taking, you're taking something very reasonable home. You happy? You're happy. I, I, you're I happy. start your business. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be happy for you now. I want to celebrate you. You know what I mean? Like okay. let's celebrate the celebration. Cheers to that happiness. Yeah. yeah, good to cheers. <laughs> cheers to the millions of pounds AY is taking back to Nigeria. Well, it's all good, man. We support the AY brand. We've always been there, Bros, Um, yeah, that's very good, man. I mean, personally, I've been a part of your journey in, in my own small little way. And um, it's one brand that I've always, always admired and respected uh, from way back up to now. And um, uh, I think for me, it's, we're just going to have this. It's more conversational. This is not going to be an interview thing. I just really want to drill into your, the trajectory of your career, basically, just to have a sort of documentation of your journey so that maybe in 10, 20 years, someone can get authoritative, you know, Information. information about mm -hmm. AY. I'm not talking controversy now, just proper mm -hmm. AY, you know, things like that. Um, but for me, I'm going to start. One, one thing that's always fascinated me, which you touched on earlier, I just wanted to be sure, based on your action taken, and how would you say, or what would you say to young people is impactful about taking action towards your dream, despite obstacles, despite setback, despite all the things that would hold you down, as always? I mean, it has to be making that, taking that uh, personal decision. Uh, for example, since we're talking showbiz right now, yeah. um, I always uh, want people to understand the concept of show business. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just want to uh, look at AY doing it, look at uh, other entertainers doing it from Whiskey to David O. They see it and they believe that, okay, this is something that they can do. But they don't, they don't take actions. They don't. Hmm. And of course, I've always said to people that the concept of show business is for you to have something to show before the business will come. Hmm. That's where you get the word showbiz. If there's nothing to show, then there's no business. You have no business uh, in that place. And a lot of people who are talented, they usually you know, get some sort of setbacks. Some will tell you it's finance, some will tell you uh, they can't find the platform. But we are in the age and time where the social media space, you know, in a way has made all of this so easy. So you have an idea or you need to do 
is get into action. Just do it. Mm. Just do it. Because for me, that was exactly what I did from the very beginning for the AY brand. It was intentional from uni. I, I, I used to organize the campus uh, beauty pageant. I used to organize the campus awards. And I had access to, you know, celebrities who would come and be part of my my shows and what have you. Then the time came and I said to myself, it's time to go to Lagos. Hmm. It's time to go for the takeover. And then I made a personal decision to also serve. So that landed me around the king of comedy, hmm. Alibaba, okay. where I worked as his personal assistant. Right. And from being his personal assistant, I became like his event manager. So we, we usually would go on tours. That was me preparing myself. Learning the ropes. You know, and it's one thing to have the talent. It's another thing to know how to market the talent. It's another thing to understand how to be at the right place at the right time. When you begin to have all of this combination put together, coupled with the talent that you have, then it means that you are set to go on that journey that will take you to that same destination that you had projected mm. from the very beginning, which was what happened in my own case. I mean, when it was time to start my own gig, I started AY Live um, in uh, 2007. When I started in 2007, you know, a lot of people will, I mean, I met comedians mm. in the game and I said I was going to do my show. Mm. And I chose a bigger venue at the time. So, you could, you could see doubts, like, what's, what's he doing? Mm. Who's giving him this mindset? Why is, why is he thinking in that direction? Why is he not trying to start? Yeah, but I've already started small from campus. campus. So I understand the concept of show business, I understand marketing, I understand, I already understood how, you know, I would set out to sell out my shows. And so what happened? This is me starting with that first gig, and it turned out to be a sold out event, because what you do from the very beginning, which a lot of young people don't, you know, some believe I have the talent, some, they don't believe in service. Mm. So as a result of serving most of these celebrities, talented individuals from way back as a student, it was payback time to like, okay, please come set the stage for me. This is going to be my first gig. It's like you saying you want to do Eros Diary and you say you, you're setting out to get some people that you've worked with before. Yeah. That relationship can pull, can them, pull them here. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Irrespective of what they're doing. 100%. But your audience will be wondering, how is it getting these people? Yeah. But because you had said mm. at one point in time, mm. they will come true. Service. And when they come true, they're going to add all the necessary value that you need, you know, to drive the same purpose. Mm. And that sets your motion. And what does that do? Other people begin to look at Eros Diary and say, this is a place I want to be. Yeah. Because this person has been here, that person has been there. Before you know it's autopilot, you're mm. gone. Yeah. Be you are in business, you're doing what you understand. And for me, that was what happened with the AY brand. So mm. from doing the first AY Live to the second AY Live, you know, we kept on moving from one venue to another, and we suddenly we just discover again this one is too small for us, yeah. And then we'll move to another bigger one, yeah. until we started selling out the 6,000 capacity, you know, venue of a co hotel. Mm. And that same spirit, you know, said to me that it's time to go international. Mm. What does that mean? Okay, why not do UK? Why not do US and all of that? So it's all about starting, it's all about making that decision, telling yourself you can do it. And of course, people are going to, you know, discourage you. There are a lot of people on the way who are also going to encourage you. Mm. But you need to have a mind of your own. Mm. You need to have a set goal. You need to have a target. And you need to know how to go about that target. And then the result will come. Wow. Right. So you, you touched about a few things now, basically, on your, in your starting. You've talked about, obviously, doggedness, going for what you want. You've talked about service. So in having all these things, you've been able to work in the cycle of people who've exposed you to bigger names that have helped you further on in your career. But when you tackle each uh, project, because essentially, based on my uh, association with you and my observation, each of your projects has been like 
bigger and bigger and bigger and bolder and bolder pretty much. So in tackling the bold, a bold project, you know the fear. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm such a risk taker. Hmm. I have said this, uh, you know, on several interviews. Now, research helps a whole lot. Now, I want to go in this direction. Go and do your research. Hmm. Who and who has gone through this same journey? What were the results? Then you, from research, you're going to find out this was where they failed. This was, you know, the different obstacles they encountered. And this was how they got the needed results as well. Hmm. You put all of that together. And then your work starts. You begin to say to yourself, now that you understand that Mr. A has been through this path, Mr. B has been through this path, and you, know, you now understand the challenges, or you also see how they were able to you know, get to that destination and achieve uh, success, you know, positive results. When you put all of that in front of you, you begin to have an understanding of how you're going to move. Where it became difficult for them, you begin to look for how to prefer solutions mm. that will guide you so that you can navigate nicely past those negativity and see yourself in the right direction. So somebody comes to me and be like, are you gonna do your first movie 30 days in Atlanta? It has never happened in the history of no, Nollywood. Nollywood where somebody will put this amount of money to the point that you are even doing a destination film. You want to go to Atlanta, you want to involve some uh, Hollywood, Hollywood names game, yeah. into in, a Nollywood project. Why are you not looking at our cinemas? Do you think people will come out? We don't have that culture. We don't have this. But guess what? Because I already did the research, like, okay, now, What's, what kind of project would work for me? And I said, okay, do something international. And my research was around coming to America at the time. I mean, if you look at the settings of coming to America, Eddie Murphy set out from a place to another destination. Yeah. And that movement became interesting for people to see how Africans will fare mm. in a different, a different place. place. Fish out of water. Now, that automatically gives you a movement that is going to attract a lot of people to want to see, okay, Akbos is going to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. A lot of people haven't been to Atlanta, but they are going to see Atlanta through Akbos. Mm. That is marketing already. So it's me understanding that it worked with Osofia in London. Yeah. So why wouldn't it work with Akbos, you know, AY doing the film and spending 30 days in Atlanta? And that was how we started doing destination films, by the way, mm -hmm. because the first one was so good, so good. and even made it into the Guinness, Guinness Book of, Book of, Record, of yeah. World Records yeah. as well. Yeah. So for me, that was, that was, and I always tell people when music is good, <laughs> you play it twice. Mm. So I started doing from 30 days in Atlanta, I had to do a trip to Jamaica, from doing a trip to Jamaica, you got involved uh, with uh, Ten Days, Ten Days in Sun City as the, the script writer and also a director on that same project. Yeah. You know, yeah. from Ten Days in Sun City, we came back again, we said, let's still do one more. And then we decided to do Christmas in Miami. In Miami. <laughs> so you can see, this is a template, this yeah. is a system. Yeah. So in a way, it has become a culture a to culture, follow, yeah. Yeah. you know, as designed by AY. Mm. But all of this came out of research. Yeah. And then it gives the result. Mm. So all that investment, everything that you're going to put in, in that project that gives you that fear, yeah. they be usually become secondary because people buy into it. And then you make money. Even if, I'm not saying that it's compulsory that you make you the make money, money all the time. Yeah. But yeah. you need to make that move because if you stay in one position, no without way. doing anything, you're still going to be there. Mm. But if you make the move, what's the worst that will happen? Is it that you fail or you progress? And when mm. you progress, 
It means that you are defining yourself in the direction of more success uh, uh, reports yeah. or, or, or situation. Mm. Mm. And for me, that is what has been helping the AY brand. Wow. 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 So what would you say in your youth, going back to your younger days now and family and all that, what prepared you for this life? Are there any particular things that happened in your youth that can be traceable that unknowingly that's where you were building the armory okay, to um, tackle later on? Yeah, when, when I was younger, uh, I've always wanted to be an actor. Mm. And uh, you know the way it's done. You see that you are in the dramatic society and then or you find yourself as maybe the drama unit in church. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, that's where we are, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, are started from. And then you begin to see yourself growing and believing that the day will come, this is something you really, really want to do. And it comes from reading all those crazy novels from James Adley Chase and, and thinking, you know, in those days, when, even till date, when you read, you, yeah. you know you can put the pictures in your head. Yeah, you, can, yeah. you can design the plots scene to scene, everything. And that was me saying to myself that this is what I want to do. And another thing that made it really work for me is meeting the likes of Richard Moffat D'Amigio. Right. You know, uh, back then when I was like a bartender, he would come to the place where I'm working. And then you see, we have the spirit as worry boys. We, we're, very, we're very, very bold. If there's anything we want, we go for it. And I would engage him you know, to answer some questions. I would, and he kept on saying that the most important thing first for now is education. Hmm. You guys need to go to school. You guys need to do this. I say, yeah, I'm in that direction. I'm thinking of going to school. But you tell me, you know, learning from people like that Happy also mentors. added value. To grow, it grow was an models. added advantage to me becoming who I am today. But what is the beauty of this story? Mm. Now, the same person that, you know, I would go to back in the day, you know, at some point in time in life, the same person started working with me on my project mm. and together because of that, I mean, that's belief, mm. self-belief, which a lot of people, they have it, yeah. not like they don't have it, but a lot of people don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, that propelling factor mm. is not there to push yourself even mm. more. Mm. You know, you, 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 you don't, you don't give up until you get results. Like today, I wasn't feeling too strong yeah. to come, yeah. you know, on this interview, but there was this push. Mm. It would be nice. It would mm. be okay. And then that is me seeing myself yeah. talking from the other side. Mm. Like, you know, you have to do this no yeah. matter what. Yeah. The show must go on. Mm. So people should always have that at the back of their mind. That it's always very important to, to push even further. Push yourself even extra mm. until you get that result. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's really, 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 really intense and uh, a bit amazing. Okay, now let's let's do something. Let's just go into your project, especially the film project, which I'm particularly excited about, obviously, with um, AY Life as well. Let's take your projects one after the other, as far as I know, and then you will talk us through what were the most difficult, craziest challenges of each project, just so that we get an idea of how big it is and these projects that we know. First of all, let's talk of 30 Days in Atlanta, which is kind of like, uh, oh, what you got to say? 30 days in Atlanta, I would say that I was I I, I got myself ready mm. because uh, I needed to prove a point. Yeah. What what point? The point was uh, letting the world know that I'm a theater artist, letting the world know that I majored in directing, letting the world know that there's a part of me that they haven't seen. Mm. And then you know the way it works in any industry, you need to make a name for yourself first before people will begin to pay attention, attention to you. So stand-up comedy already gave me that through AY Live. Mm. And so for me, it was necessary to now say to the world that, okay, AY Live and the, 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 the comedian that you see in AY yeah. is as a result of the situation of where he found himself. 
but he's also a core theater artist. Mm. And the only way to prove that is for you to, you know, to, to do something. And then you know how difficult it is when you want to go on someone's set and be like, okay, I need you, bros, are the actor. Yeah. You know, you need to put me in your film. You know how difficult it is when they don't know you. So I knew it, that the best way to start was for me to do, make my own film. So I came up with the concept for 30 days, 30 days in, Atlanta. in Atlanta. And I knew that I was going to play the lead. I'm talking about research. This whole thing happened with, um, was it Arnold or, uh, he had to the rock. He, uh, he had to do his own film. Yeah, to prove himself. Yeah. To to prove to prove. So the himself. people stopped. Okay. So what you're saying now? So the people stopped seeing you as a comedian, yeah. but begin to take you seriously as an actor. Yes. Like in the case of the rock, to see that he's not just this muscle wrestler power mm -hmm. guy, but to begin to actually see him as an actual actor. Yes. That was the case with you. Yes. Well. And for me, I was ready because from a while I, I was making money, good mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. So I set a budget aside to take the big risk that later, you know, moved me and carried me to the present level in filmmaking that mm. I'm in right now. Mm. Mm. And you see from that 30 days, we've had other yeah. ones. If you yeah. say you want us yeah. to be discussing them yeah. one after. Jamaica, yeah. Jamaica. Okay, a trip to Jamaica. You decided to go to Jamaica. No Nollywood, no Africa. In fact, we don't really know much about Jamaica <laughs> as Nigerians. Why the trip to Jamaica? Uh, the trip to Jamaica was still on the idea of doing something that has to do with destination. Destination movie, yeah. Yeah. So, and then there was money ready. Mm. There was already money from 30 days. Bro, you're rolling in money. I so, can't do it. <laughs> say, say rolling in money. You already say that's money ready. And then, and then people were beginning to, brands were now beginning to pay attention. Right. To AY, right. the filmmaker, AY, the actor. AY the producer. Was that based off on the success of uh, 30 Days in Atlanta? That is how it works. Hmm. If you hear today that one player who is of Nigeria descent is scoring goals and all that, the next thing that you clamor for was for him to, be, to get a call-up. Hmm. That's how it works. Yeah. yeah. So success breeds success. It boils down to the concept of show business Mm. You must have something to show, show. before the business before will the come. Business. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so that was mm. it for... For trip to Jamaica. Yeah. And then you moved on from that to 10 Days in Sun City. 10 Days in Sun City <laughs> was me trying to take... Show it, yourself. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know Akbos became yes. a brand. Yeah. Big brand. So 10 Days in Sun City was, you know, when people start talking, oh, uh, uh, you make all these films abroad... I was the one paying taxes, we were yeah. doing, you're not doing anything, not even in Africa. No. So I was like, okay, you know, I mean, if you're talking about destination, South Africa won't be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. And then I also got uh, some sort of uh, collaboration from uh, South African tourism, tourism. Yeah. at the time to, to get it done. So Tennis in Sun City was, was also good. Good enough, you were part of it. Yeah. You were in Sun City yeah. with us. Yeah. We all had... It was an amazing time. Yeah, one, we had one, a of the best, time. one of the best times of my life in <laughs> Sun City, South time. Africa. It was so, amazing. Yeah, time. And, I mean, we put it in the city was um, Netflix came for it. Every other film that we've done, you see Netflix coming and asking, when are you, when are we getting this? So for me, if I didn't make any of these moves, mm. I probably won't get all these people coming my way to say, okay, look at Merry Men. Merry Men yeah. is gonna be is we we we're in the cinemas in in Nigeria as we yeah, speak, yeah. and then we're trying to you know rush that process because there's already money waiting from Netflix mm -hmm. to have it this December right. as a, you know a December movie you know that they're going to give to Nigerians. So now they give you money and the money is waiting. You just have to come up with something to, to so you you to invest, spend the money on. You invest. You have to invest. I mean, I'm not ready to get out of business. Yeah. I still want to make more films. <laughs> so I'm already thinking for 2024. Yeah. What else am I going to do that is going to, you know, attract, uh, yeah. you know, uh, the streamers, to the streaming uh, companies to, to come to me to again? To come there, yeah. So after, after Sun City, 
with the across with the destination thing across going from Atlanta to Jamaica to Sun City, he decided to what rest the that one and then well, Merriman, yeah, yes, Merriman, which then, is not a destination film. Yeah, Merriman was very intentional. You know, a lot of people will let you know that oh, it's because of the environment. So he has everything in place. You know, yeah. it's like playing with professional yeah. footballers. You'd be like, oh no, I can't play with own base. Let's see what's going to what's happen. Going to happen, and, happen yeah. and then when we the idea for you know uh, Merriman came up, mm. and from research, it was something that I grabbed from Fast and Furious. Mm. Like, okay, smart looking guys doing their thing, living their world. You know, we can have an African version. Yeah. We can have the Yoruba demons. Yoruba demons. We can have. So it's always me doing research. Like, they did work with Fast and Furious. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to work here. Yeah. So all you need to do is build your concept, hone it, make it original mm. so that nobody is seeing it that. But we all get inspired. Mm. You know, from one idea or another. Mm. So, but it's how you utilize it, and the placement that you give to it is what make makes it count. And once you own it, and it becomes yours, it travels on its own smoothly. Smoothly. And that's why we're able to have Merriman One. And then what happened? The people started asking for Merriman Two. We came back and we gave them Merriman Two, which surpassed. The, the record of Merriman 1. Yeah. And then here we are with Merriman 3. three. Yeah. And what have you. But now I'm going to rest it again because I might just say to myself, it's time to do something different. In between. <laughs> in between. Yeah. Some say, oh, it's not all about comedy. Mm. And I came up with al yeah. And al yeah. just for people to know that this thing is not a fluke. Yeah. You know, the critics will say, hmm. It's because he's a comedian. People will love to laugh. Anyway, comedies. people anyway. will go to the cinema. Yeah. And then we came with Al Majiri. So Al Majiri Al Al is more of a, yeah. a drama. Yes, it's like more of a drama. A critical and drama. Of course, uh, it's the type of movie that, you know, deals with social issues. A yeah. very particular one that has to do with child, child slavery trafficking, and trafficking and the rest. Yeah. Mm. And... Because of the message, I mean, is 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 one different award in Canada. It got about fourteen awards, you know. It in Saudi Arabia, same thing. We've been traveling with, the, and we're still traveling with Al Majiri. That's good. And uh, for me, every time people say something, oh, I think it's because of this. I'll I'll I will go the other route. I will prove to you that this is as a result of hard work. Hmm. This is as a result of grace. This is as a result of me mm. making that decision that if this is what I say I want to do, mm. this is the result I'm going to get. Right. So, and then we went to Miami. That was an amazing experience because I happened to be a part of it. One of the best experiences ever. How was that experience for you? Oh, uh, that one, I mean, that one really caught me down because, you know, it's crazy with the exchange rates. Yeah. When you're doing or making all, the, all these uh, destination films. Yeah. So it was really, really crazy. You're talking about I mean, the Naira to yeah, say dollar. Yeah, Naira to dollar. Okay. Crazy, crazy because I went with a budget. Hmm. I went ready. But somewhere along the line, in between production, I mean, everything just <laughs> went up. <laughs> and then it became really, really crazy. So... All the while, every other person on the set was were saying, oh, we're enjoying this production, <laughs> this is the best, and all of that. I was going to my room Crazy. and crying like, God. <laughs> so, yeah, but the, the, part, the part that I really, really loved uh, was how we were received in Miami. I mean, uh, even got uh, honored, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, twice. Yeah. For for bringing yeah. uh, such a project to Miami, yeah. and I know so, there was a lot of support from the Miami Dade Council and, yeah, and all that. So yeah, so for me that that was that was a plus, and for me that was uh, a confirmation that the brand is really really international as well. Mm -hmm. And by the time you start getting all these recognitions and yeah. uh, you know uh, acknowledgments and what have you, it's usually a plus. It's yeah. it it's. Uh, it puts you side by side with the 
you know, the big greats, dogs that you, you, you want to be Idolize, like. Idolize, yeah. 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 Oh, brilliant. You see, the thing is, one thing I run across all your projects is you, you fund your projects. Yeah, yeah majority you yes, used to I, I mean now you said it's Netflix and all this guy give you money that's waiting for you to go make a film has no, that changed they're, 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 they're not paying now okay they they like the idea of a project they yeah. see it yeah and they buy yeah okay that's, but that's, yeah. that's that's the scenario you have now yes but back then it was you're just jumping blind oh, yes. pretty much so you yes. go and put yes. all your money in this film yeah. and then you kind of believe so maybe the next stage now will be AY hey, we have this money waiting for you yeah come do this or come do that. Wow. So we are already thinking in that direction. Yeah. And talking in that direction as I well. I agree now. So I mean, I think you've got into that level. I would believe you're even past that yeah. level now. <laughs> you, you, you've paid your dues and mm. why not? There's no reason you should be getting that. But as a, as a big boy that's putting all the mm. money in, just like you rightly said, we, I went with you and I've been with you on at least two destination movies in South, Sun City, South Africa and Miami in the USA. And these are amazing places. This is just the most beautiful places to be on earth. Mm. And we are having all the fun, but you're the one putting mm. in all the money. Just like you rightly just talking through that experience you see your, your pocket is burning but all these people are having fun at your expense mm -hmm. how does that make you feel no but it's good it's good for you to have uh, fun while making the job happen as well mm. uh, would I rather have you sad and then it tells on the job negatively no so uh, and that's one thing I know that a lot of actors from back home they like to to, to, to enjoy. We, mm. They know when it's a wise project, they know they are set out for something Some fun, wonderful yeah. time. Yeah. And for me, it's, it's also part, like part of the business. Mm. For you to get anything out of a talent, you mm. need to make that talent be in that uh, place of comfort. Mm. And from that comfort zone, they will give you the needed results. Mm. Wow. Okay. Interesting. But one other thing that you've run, that you said that kind of runs through everything is that at, 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 it feels like at almost every point in at time you have a point to prove. Does that mean you have a lot of adversaries in the industry? Who are you proving a point to? Who are you trying to 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 prove wrong that yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I can. Are there a lot of politics, a lot of... Mm, mm, mm. Beyond uh, industry politics, yeah. this is me trying to prove a point to myself. Yeah. I mean, I love to see myself achieving a certain goal and then telling myself next year that you know you have to surpass that goal and giving myself that assignment to make sure that I'm able to surpass the previous one. Mm. So that's me always wanting to prove a point to myself. Yeah. Because that's the only way you can define your growth process mm. in any business. If you are just there and you give it all that lukewarm attitude or you're quite lackadaisical in your attitude and not paying attention, it's going to tell yeah. on your creativity, it's going to tell on the business aspect of you know, the business itself. And it's going to be noticed by others. Mm. And then you are going to lack credibility. And when you start lacking credibility, and you start losing followership, mm. and then the business will begin to die. That, yeah. So for me, if you give me that standing ovation this year, I will want you to actually stand on top of the table next year mm, okay. to do okay. the same thing. That okay. way I know that. So your success motivates you. Yes. So at some point... I want to see you flying, mm. enjoying the things the that thing I that you love bringing. to yeah. do. Yeah. I mean, that's, I think that's very evident in everything you're doing because all your films pretty much relatively have been blockbusters, usually either top two or top three mm. highest grossing films in Nigeria, and that's very relatable. But in terms of um, motivating yourself or in terms of proving a point, like I said, first of all, you said, like, for example, when you wanted to show that you could act rather than just being a comedian, when you wanted to show that you could make a film abroad and get people to enjoy it, when you wanted to show that people can enjoy destination movies, when you wanted to show that, you know, there's been a constant theme of wanting to prove the enemy is wrong, mm -hmm. apart from proving yourself. Mm -hmm. Is that because you feel that people don't believe you can do it enough? Well, well, you can, that could be a part of it. That could be a part of it. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are still some people who still see me till date, but people in my industry, outside of my industry, they just believe that 
I don't think I can compare this guy in terms of talent, in terms of what they have achieved. I don't think this guy is someone that can measure up to us by all standards. But me, that is the challenge I give to myself. Mm -hmm. The more you begin to think that way, the more I put you in position where you don't see me coming. Coming, yeah. And I love it when you don't see me coming because mm -hmm. that's when I put in extra work. That's when I put in that extra time. That's when I t say to myself, like, you know what? You need to prove these people wrong. Mm. But generally, the major reason, the major point for me is me, you know, surpassing my previous success or achievement. Mm. And that's one thing uh, that, drives that's, that drives me. Mm. Very good. Okay, cool. I think we'll leave the aspect of work and all this kind of thing and maybe go, like, go a bit into family. And you're a very happily married man to one of the most beautiful women on earth kind of thing um how's marriage been for you generally it's been it's been it's been a blissful journey yeah i mean uh it's been a journey that started like 20 years ago okay and then we recently just celebrated uh 15 years in 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 marriage, in marriage and yeah. of course i i woke up to a news this morning as a friend of ours and i'll be like and I mean, they've done this for like 15, 16 years and they're saying goodbye goodbye, and all of that. So that put me in a very difficult position this morning. Mm -hmm. It gave me room to ask myself some certain questions. This could be anybody. Mm -hmm. This could be you, mm -hmm. AY, this could be anybody. But then, how do you make all of this work? It's good you always give yourself that uh, reminder that anything can happen at any point Anytime. in time. But so that... Uh, Another way around gives you the keeps, reason. Keeps you on your toes, pretty much. Gives yeah. you the reason to 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 make your relationship make work, work. Yeah. because it has to work. I I did not come from you know a broken home per mm. se, mm. so I'm not going to be the first person to yeah. you know yeah. to to set that record in my in my family. Yeah. Uh, but then, yeah. uh, with the way things are going yeah. and happening these yeah. days in the society, yeah. you never can tell what's arrow is being thrown at anybody yeah. or at any point in time. Yeah. And this is not to discredit those whose relationship are not working at, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. But this is just saying that, yeah, it's not an easy journey. It's, mm. not, it's, it's not one journey that you're going to say is easy for everybody, especially yeah. when you are in the show business space. Yeah. Even beyond show business, any mm. business that you do that takes your time, time yeah. you need to find a way to create that aesthetic balance mm. whereby you will carry family along, along effectively, yeah. effectively well. Yeah. Because I think that's the point where, where the divide, the divide yeah. usually, usually happens. So yeah. for someone like me, I try to create that balance all the time. And... Uh, we're still in marriage. How, how do you how do you create that balance from a from a from a married man as well as well, especially for someone like you who's in who's so big in showbiz and entertainment. You're all over the place mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's Madame there who has to who, who would need your 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 presence and your company a lot of the time, and who would not have it a lot of the time. So, how do you create that balance between work and busyness and flying all over the place to actually having a very happy home as well? Yeah, it's, 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 it's basically understanding. Know what your partner wants, know what you want. Mm. And uh, it's, just, it's just about, uh, it's, that's why it's called relationships. So yeah. we relate, you know, to, to see how the ship can sail. So yeah. um, for me, that is one thing that I do all the time. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, if you follow the AY brand, majority of the tours that I go, you know, when in I'm between, you, you'll see my wife, at you know, point. at some point. The only reason why she's not here for AY Live this year is because she needs to, you know, yeah. supervise the building of rebuilding of my house, okay. uh, our home, yeah. and then you know the way it is with yeah. workers. Yeah. But there's always a balance. Communication is is what makes it work. Yeah. So by the time you 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 have the right communication, 
that brings about the right understanding between the two of you, yeah. the ship will keep sailing. Mm. Amazing, amazing. You've also suffered, obviously, on the personal level, some adversities. You were going to talk about the house thing now, but before we talk about that, obviously, you have your, um, your first daughter. What's her name again? Michelle. Michelle. You got Michelle. And then uh, you got my little princess. I <laughs> really day. Such a cutie. Mm -hmm. And it obviously the, the gap between Princess uh, Michelle and Iomi Day is what? How many years? Eight, nine years? It's a lot. Thirteen. <laughs> oh, thirteen. Oh my god. <laughs> thirteen years. So you, this very successful man, have waited thirteen years to have another child. Was that by design or not? And how did you feel during that person during uh, that it time? wasn't by design. I mean uh, but God created the uh, created the right time mm. for, for ritual to happen. And though we are celebrating Ayomi Day, so it wasn't what we designed yeah. uh, to, to happen. But of course, you know, you can't just wake up one day and be a bona fide winner mm. in all, all ramifications aspects. of mm. life, mm. everything. Mm. Oh, you win. So maybe that was, that was the your little own. setback. But then <laughs> it came with the, with the expected results. So yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm still yeah. uh, a happy man knowing yeah. that. I wake up to yeah. to have a little daughter to play with, even if she makes me feel like we're an age group <laughs> the way we run around the house. But then it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing, yeah. beautiful sights to behold. Yeah. So what is important is that, I mean, another life has been added yeah. to, 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 to ours and in our family, and yeah. we're happy. Yeah, but just, uh, just so that people can get more inspiration from your story and all that, during that gap period, how do you keep getting inspired? How do you believe? How do you keep trusting that it will happen? Uh, I, I think, you know, we, we, we are Africans mm. and then we have this African belief that, oh, when something is not working, maybe this is when the man needs to do something or creates, you know, use the alternative route, mm. go somewhere else and all of that. But then I don't, I don't have that yeah. culture. So I, and everybody who try to, you know, come up with such conversations yeah. instantly became my enemies. Yeah. So, and they started advising themselves, please don't ever, mm. if you want to keep him as your friend, don't ever suggest anything, anything like to that. him. Because I just always believe that God's time is the best. Is the best. Yeah. And um, it, it happened at the right time. The right so, time, yeah. so there was nothing mm. like, okay, maybe this man was thinking or, I mean, science mm. is science mm. and God is God. So, mm. It happened when it needed to happen, happen, and then we, we, we are here. Yeah, and I said at the end of the day, you got the beautiful ones here now anyway. <laughs> but obviously, one thing that's really been a very strong uh, key thing in your life and your journey has been family. You seem to be a very family-oriented person, not just in your own nuclear family, but also in your extended family with your brothers. Your brothers are also into, you know, and show, well, showbiz pretty much, mm -hmm. uh, from event planning to fashion and, and stuff like that. And, um, and it's very well documented how instrumental you have been to their success. How, what has been the impact of having that togetherness how much has it impacted on your ultimate success? It was the, it was a sermon. It was a culture to follow mm. from our late parents. So you, you know when you come from that background, when they always bring you people, to bring you people together yeah. in one place to make you understand hierarchy. This is big brother. This you should do and this you shouldn't do. And then following all that set rules, mm. you know, helped in getting us to where we are today. So we, we are well bonded. So equally, what that equally means is that if A is growing, every other person should grow. Mm. So how do we make that happen? Okay, what are the things that you have set out to do with your own life? Yeah. Because you know the race at some point it's also individual and mm. personal. So what have you set out to do? And then, because I'm already moving in this direction, yeah. I can pull you along as well. And then, you know, see how you can get help. Yeah. See how your talent, you know, can also, through the little platform that I've been able to have or build yeah. around the family to help you move as well. So 
that helped my brothers, mm -hmm. and I'm very, very proud of them. But there are a lot of people who are even more talented than they are. Mm. So sometimes it's not just about the talent, it's about understanding, you know, uh, purpose. So because they are very, very respectful, and because uh, they are uh, very, very well brought up. So it shows, it reflects in everything that we do uh, as a unit. Mm. So when you have that kind of energy within yeah. the brotherhood, within the family circle, trust me, it can only give you one result, success. Mm. No, that's great, man. That's so amazing. So when you were in America recently on your tour, having fun, making all the dollars, now you've come to make the pounds. Um, obviously, there was the sad news of your house getting burnt while you were there. Uh, how did the role of family play in, in, in getting you through that misfortune? Oh, yes. They were the ones who, who were present at the venue. Like my brothers, I mean, uh, uh, they called them to, to come to the house and all that. So yeah. because I was on the tour, so they were trying to take the, hide the news from me. But yeah. you know the way these blogs are now. Mm -hmm. So I woke up to seeing my house, you know, burning yeah. <laughs> on Instablog. Wow. So I, so you can imagine well, how you, you found feel. out on Instagram. Yes. Wow. That was how so I your found house out. was burning. Yes, because one, they were hiding the news from me. They were like, mm. okay, maybe he's got a show. We don't want to spoil his mood. Yeah. And then what have you, so that he can just come back and we can just, you know, tell him what and what has, has gone has gone down. But then I I found out and I started calling them and I saw some of the videos. My brothers were trying to see how much things that they could grab from the house and what I, you see for me uh that was just a phase in mm. life mm. and there's a reason why we're working there's a reason why we we are faced with challenges mm. so it's because i think god also understands that it cannot give me the one that will consume me yeah. definitely this one uh, I mean, uh, the, the devil just got the wrong address. Yeah. And then we are going to address the issue <laughs> in no time with something even bigger and better. And better. Yeah. So that's wow. it. Oh, well, I think I, I'm, I'm sure I trust you. I trust you to, mm -hmm. to, to run all these things and all that. And yeah, uh, okay, away from family now, and just in the industry, you've talked about service, you've talked about the role of mentors and role models and all that. So who are these people in the industry that have really been a key factor in your your journey. Uh, there's, uh, I can never stop talking about Alibaba. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, he, he saw it from the very beginning, and I, I give him all the all the respect and kudos. He saw it. He was someone I only invited to come be a part of my campus beauty pageant yeah. back in the day, as you know, a guest comedian mm -hmm. and host. So he was very very impressed with the way everything went. So he said to me, I love your sense of packaging. What are you doing after school? So I told him that I would love to, you know, find myself in the space of show business at some point in time. And then he gave me the invitation. Come be my personal assistant. Mm. So that was how I gained inroad into show business. So that is the service we're talking about. Yeah. There are a lot of people here working now from this point, they could yeah. have the opportunity to meet another opportunity that would define, define them. their own calling mm. and purpose, mm. and it brings you back to service. Mm. So people must always be willing at some point in time to learn how to sacrifice, to sacrifice. and to learn how to serve. To pay the dues. And then when you pay those dues, trust me, when the result will come, you will just be enjoying the benefits. Mm. How are you giving back now, considering you've been a, a, a product or a benefit, you've been benefit to the idea of mentorship, service and stuff. How are you, given that you are a godfather now, <laughs> if we can say giving that, back, how, are you, how, are you um, I mean, anyone, how are you replicating that? Anyone, anyone who knows the AY brand knows that that is my core calling, mm. you know, because uh, I sat back one day, you know, looking at all what Alibaba did for me. I sat back one day and I said to myself, God will punish you if the way you talk about this man, people are not talking, not talking about, about you. you. Mm. That way it means you, 
you're a fundamental failure. Mm. And for me, that uh, brought about the idea of creating the AOI's open mic uh, comedy platform. And that platform had given about 70% of the comedians that you see in the industry, the younger ones in the industry now, mm. about 70%, it gave them inroad into the industry and they're all doing well. So mm. some of them now have people, you know, that are following them as well. Yeah. And all that. These are all responsible men married with their houses, kids and everything. So I'm proud to say that it, it, it happened as a result of, you know, being part of that uh, or coming from that AY's open mic uh, yeah. comedy background. Yeah. Just the same way Ali Baba will say to me once in a while, AY, I'm very proud of you. There are a lot of people I just turn around and I look and say, I'm very proud of you too. Yeah. Because uh, if you're growing yeah. in this business or in any business at all, and the people around you are stagnant, it means you're a failure. Mm. And I can't call myself a failure. I can go to bed and people will talk. Even when I am no more, people will talk about my brand and the things that I've done in that regard. So would you say that's your legacy? You, that's, of course, of course, yeah. of course. It's, uh, it's a calling for me. I see it as a calling. Right. Like making people happy mm. defines how happy yeah. I see myself. Yeah. So for me, it, it is indeed, like, it goes beyond even the comedy space. Mm. Generally in life, you, you can't come around me and I don't find a reason to add value mm. to your life, especially when you come with potentials that shows value. value. And then when you have all of that around me, trust me, mm. you know, because that's what has been working for me around people. Right. You know, people see me, mm. they want to associate with me, not because I have all the money in the world, not because I'm the funniest, not yeah. be, but because they see the value that I have mm. and they see the effort that I put in. And so, you know, they, they just open doors and right. make things happen for me. Yeah. So I always want to see myself doing that for others. Wow. And it's been working perfectly well and yeah, just talking quickly talking about family obviously your brother you're me casual maybe that maybe that <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm very so you're me casual I'm very right proud there, of him. As in, yeah I'm yeah, yeah very really doing amazing well. stuff and yeah amazing amazing so i mean we were at the pop-up show a few days ago mm -hmm. and um i saw this and i was like oh this has to, i have to wear this while i speak it to looks, you it looks so, yeah. it, it looks candy. it makes sense <laughs> Correct, nice. correct, correct. Shout All out right. to you, Yomi Casual. Absolutely, by the way. Yomi Casual. Been there doing <laughs> it. All right, cool. So, we're winding down now. I've been trying to keep this as much as possible about your success journey and your success story, just so that, like I said, in future, you, we can have, or people have very authoritative sources if they're trying to discover more and more about AY. But, I mean, I, I think it, wouldn't be, it would be unfair if we leave without touching on a bit, one or two controversial, you know, that kind of stuff. And I would like you to address two particular issues, two particular situations. The first is basket mouth, and the second is Sheon Kuti. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say here that uh, these are issues that I'm not going to touch in any, in any other form, but I will let you know that I'm very much at peace yeah. uh, with these people. Right. And as a matter of fact, basket mouth and I, we, we are good with ourselves now. We're okay. friends again. I even attended uh, his, his show, the last one he did. Okay. You know, I, I was there. He invited me, so I was there to. When was that? To to support. This happened uh, on November 29th. Okay. November 29th. So yeah. so I was there to 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 show love and support, and we had a good time. And this is me saying that we are no longer kids. Right. So it's not every time that. Uh, people will be going to comment sessions and, and the next thing they want to, oh, I'm team basket, I'm team AY. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we, we are not Gen Z's. Mm. So people should understand that and respect that as well. Yeah. So we're good. We're very, very good. And as for Sheung Kuti, there was a misconception, you know, of, on, on his part, you know, saying that I referred to his uh, daughter as a dog, uh, which was very, very... Uh, far from being the truth yeah. and that I already addressed 
online as online, well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. based on that, so I'm you, good with him in spirit, yeah. and I believe he's good with me as well. But what are we, we, what are we in person, like both of you? No, we, have, no we haven't seen. We yeah. haven't seen. But it's not an issue. Okay. It's not an issue. I okay. am... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm created in a way whereby I don't make trouble, yeah. define anything that makes me. Yeah. If I see a young tomorrow, I'll be the first to say hello. But were you guys so, friends before? Were you no, 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 not really, not really. Oh, okay. It was just uh, uh, someone I respect, respect yeah. his work from afar. Yeah. You know, there was this radio program he was doing at the time. I yeah. would follow it, you know, run home just to listen to the young man talk. But... Uh, well, when he picked the negative side, you know, consigning my person and character yeah. as a result of a skit that he said I did, yeah. uh, which formed a part of the social commentary that yeah. we do as comedians. But uh, saying that it was something yeah. that had to do with his pain yeah. uh, is something that I personally would say, sorry, if it has to do with your pain. But that was me just... Just doing you the know, thing. doing doing comedy, yeah. making people yeah. uh, laugh, and using my skits to yeah. just market the tour that I did last year. Okay. So moving forward, yeah, we we'll, we You're should good. be good. Should yeah. be good, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, maturity is all that matters. And mm -hmm. um, like I said, this is so much about creating controversies or generating mm -hmm. any talks. It's, it just I just felt we had to touch that because oh. people could say, "Why are you doing interview? You know, even you know, <laughs> that kind of you know." So let's let's just put that aside uh, and focus on success. Mm -hmm and success story. So what's the future for AY regarding comedy, film, and then what else? The future, future is now. <laughs> we are already basking in the euphoria of what we are defined as our own future. Yeah. So for me, uh, it's gonna be more films, more comedy shows. And uh, of course, you, we, we need to also understand that we can't be in this space yeah. of authority, yeah. you know, forever. Mm. I mean, there are people who are going to take over and even do better. So, I mean, we also need to start uh, looking at getting the small change that this we one, have yeah. made to, to work for us. Yeah. You know, make the money and make the money work for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh, because uh, I don't see myself, you know, going on stage with a walking stick and say let me ace oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so no but the good thing is comedy is a is an age long thing you, well, you can do it you can do it well into your 70s and 80s it's, it's, it's already, all good know. i will yeah. need you I'll, just have to stand on stage i'll, and I'll just call i'll stick. just call you to bring the witch here <laughs> and carry everyone out here and follow me <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you could don't but um, yeah no i mean that sounds that sounds that sounds absolutely great do you have any plans of going into politics in nigeria in future not at all Huh? Not at all. You're not going uh, to be the president of Nigeria? Not someday? at all. Not at all. You know, people should understand their calling. There are some things that uh, should not be forced. Hmm. You, know, you know, we can be part of the solutions yeah. to help the government. Help the government yeah. You know, in terms of uh, implementation of policies. Yeah. Especially in the sectors yeah. that we understand. Yeah. So when they ask questions, we'll be willing to to provide our services. Mm. But to say vote for AY, yeah. you will never see me there. Are you sure? Though? No, no, you will never Bro. see me there. No, <laughs> never say quote never. me, quote me, quote okay. me, you will never see me All there. All right, AY say so, <laughs> and that's so it be. Okay, bros, on a final, final, final note now, we're just going to have you speak to your camera. Essentially, you're from Nigeria, you're in Africa, you know that there's so many, 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 many young people with massive dreams and ambition and who, what you have achieved is like, is heaven to them. They would like to achieve a modicum of your success. Can you just talk to your people, talk to these little young guys, how they can actually make their dreams, whatever it is, happen? Okay, guys, my name is AY. I'm a stand-up comedian. I make people laugh for a living. And um, I double as an actor and a movie producer. So this is me saying to you guys that uh, education is our passport to the future. And tomorrow belongs to those of us who prepare for it today. So get some education. Get some level of education. It's, it's, it's a good passport to carry that will help you you know, you know, get to that destination that you have in mind. 
whether in entertainment, whether in any form of, you know, creative endeavor that you have. So what I'm going to say again is keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Keep all hopes alive. And trust me, you all are going to get there. AY say so? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's it. And the final, 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 one last note. Just always tell your people, everybody, where they support us. <laughs> make us, make us have grow. Make us have be like, hey, why? You know that kind of thing. Hero's Diary, man. Let's push it to the wall. Let them follow. Let them subscribe. Let them push. And hopefully, when they make, we get better sponsorship. You know that kind of thing. Okay. Always. Okay. okay. All right, Mike. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I just want to like your people. Yeah, like your people, your people. That kind of thing. Yes, yeah, so... My name is AY, this is Eros Diary, and of course, I'm asking you to follow us, and guess what? Eros are made. Eros are born. And for you people to know more about us, just follow us, you see different talented human resources that are blessed from Africa and beyond. This is a show to follow. AY say so. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, it's your like, but how you say <laughs> us, us. First of all, I <laughs> So us now, us. We are heroes diary, man. That's it, that's it. Bros, I want to say a massive, massive thank you for coming. I know you've been amazing. Uh, I know you've been very busy. I know you've had a lot to do in the UK right now. But for coming by, for sharing some of your genius, your wisdom, thank your you. intellect, which I personally Seriously, you know, you know, you know what you be to me now, that kind of thing. But seriously, thanks for coming. Thank man. you thanks very for much. I keep appreciate shining it. the light, keep Thank pushing you. it. We day you're behind, Thank as you. always. I appreciate it. Cool. Bless you. That's all, man. Here is Diary signing Ooh. out. Until the next one. Peace. Uh. Thank you.